Hey, what's up guys? Harrison here, and I have a different kind of video for y'all today. Usually I make videos about Tower Defense Simulator, and in a recent video I made about that game, I talked about how the devs changed the faces of the towers for April Fool's Day 2020. Right after I published that, one of my mods let me know that there's an actual way for me to go into my Roblox texture folder on my computer and change the default face so I give my towers funny faces all year round. I'm gonna go ahead and show y'all how to do that in this video, and I'm going to leave the link to the website explaining how to do it in the description below. Now I want to go ahead and put a disclaimer on this video. You can mess up your Roblox files doing what I'm about to do. Of course, if you accidentally delete something that you need, you can always uninstall and reinstall Roblox and you'll have the files back again. My advice is that you just mess with the face. Leave everything else alone unless you're a trained hacker. First thing you're going to need to do is go to your Roblox icon. Right click on that and select open file location. Now if you don't have the Roblox icon shortcut on your desktop, you can find it from the start menu and you're just going to go to roblox from here right click on roblox player and click open file location so if you open the file location and it looks like this you're going to want to right click on roblox player from here and click on open file location again and you're going to see the area that we want to be in now if you already have the shortcut on your desktop you can right click on that and go to open file location and it'll take you right to that area so what you want to do here is click on the content folder and then go to the textures folder, click on that. And you're looking for the face file. Here it is right here. For some reason, mine is all black. If I open it, I can see that, it, yes, it is the face. So what you're going to be doing is just replacing this PNG file with any other kind of face that you want to use. It's something that you can make in Photoshop or another drawing app that you have. And so the idea here is that replacing this file is going to replace every single thing in Roblox that uses the default face. It's going to be whatever you change it to. I went ahead and downloaded a bunch of faces from Roblox that I want to try out. This is a face that I actually have in Roblox. So let me go ahead and use that one as an example. First thing you're going to want to do is take the face off of your avatar if you have any special face equipped. And you're going to see here that I'm rocking the default face. So I'm going to come back to my Roblox textures folder and I'm going to remove this default face file. I'm just going to put it on the desktop so I don't lose it. I'm going to rename the file over here that I want to use just to face. I'm going to put this in the texture folder. You can see it right here. And now when I go into a Roblox game, I'm going to have that face on my avatar. Now you got to remember this only affects what you see. Nobody else is going to see this face on your avatar. But for you, it'll look like whatever file you put in that default face spot. So that's basically how you do it, guys. I recommend that you save that face file somewhere. I just put mine on the desktop so it doesn't get deleted on accident. And when you're done messing with the faces, you can put that back and it'll be like you never changed anything in the first place. Or you you can keep the default face to whatever you want it to be from now until forever. So here I'm back in the Roblox textures file. I'm going to drag that back into my face file over here. So there's no default face file now in the texture folder. I have left my Roblox game and I'm going to rejoin. And now you're going to see that I'm the most beautiful creature in the entire world with no face. I've got no face. So yeah, you can have no face if you want to have no face. What I did to get all these different face choices was come to my app avatar editor and go to the shop and then you can just come over here and go to collectibles collectible faces and here are all these different faces these limited you faces that you have to pay thousands and thousands of bow bucks for click on one that you want to put on your avatar like this troublemaker face here you can actually just grab it and drag it onto your desktop so i'm going to call this troublemaker and i'm going to drag it into the textures folder now that it's in the folder i'm going to rename it face i'm going to rejoin that roblox game so you can see what it looks like and it's just that simple to give yourself any kind of wacky crazy face that you want to use on roblox Oh my gosh, this guy must have the default face on his avatar too. Wait, everybody has the same face. Oh my god. Yep, here's another person with that crazy face. <laughs> it's just kind of funny. And that's basically it, guys. I'm going to go ahead and rename this and drag it out of the textures folder. I'm going to put the original face file back in. And as long as you do that, everything will go back to normal. If you have any questions about that, be sure to ask them in the comments below. Now I'm going to go ahead and show you guys how to manipulate a couple of other things that can be fun. Sometimes people like to alter how much Robux they have in their account. If you guys have zero Robux and you want to make it look like you have a million Robux, it's actually really easy to do. You just want to highlight the text up here and right click on it. Go to where it says inspect element right here. Click on that and it's going to bring up this window down here and there's going to be a highlighted section. You want to click, you want to right click on that highlighted section and you want to click on edit as HTML. 
that's going to open up a little uh, area for you to edit this text here. So you can see where it says 15K plus right here, which is what we have up in that top right hand corner for Robux. And you can just type in, um, let's say 1M plus to make it look like I have 1 million Robux. Click anywhere off of this area and it will alter what that text says up there. So you can close that window and then you can screenshot this and you can show your friends, oh my gosh, I'm rich. I won a Just Harrison giveaway for 1 million Robux. And don't worry, this isn't permanent. As soon as you close this window and reopen it, it'll revert back to whatever the original text was. And you can actually change the text anywhere on a web page by doing that. I'm gonna highlight this 100,000 Robux here. I'm gonna right click on it and go to inspect elements. I'm going to right click on the highlighted section here and click on edit as HTML. And then I'm going to go to the number that says 100,000 and I'm going to delete the zeros and just make it say one and click off of it. And I'm going to close that window and then boom, one Robux, which of course is just a visual uh, change. If you go to buy, it's actually still going to charge you the, the full price. I can even edit the description there where it says he's always up to no good. Highlight, right click, inspect elements right click on the highlighted area, edit as HTML, go to where it says whatever the text says on the screen. He's always up to no good. I'm gonna say Baba Booey. And now he Baba Booey. All right, so now I've showed you guys how to change the default face file in Roblox. I'm now gonna show you what that looks like on the towers in Tower Defense Simulator. The first thing I wanna show you is what happens when you create a PNG image and put that in the Roblox texture file for your face. Here I've created a beautiful picture of the one and only Fat Cat. Now I've put it in that Roblox folder and yes, it is gonna show up as my face. Ah oh, yes, the elusive Nico DJ Fat Cat. <laughs> this is gold. Quick, give her some food before she starts meowing. Fat Cat Soldier OP. This tower doesn't shoot the zombies, he eats them alive. Ah oh, yes, the Fat Cat Sniper, of course. Does this count as a Harrison Tower being in the game? Okay, this is too weird, I gotta change it. You can also create your very own face that you wanna put on there. One thing I think you do have to do with these custom templates is make sure there are 128 pixels on each side. That's why this is so tiny. I'm not gonna make mine a face, I'm actually gonna make it a message. Hi, mom. And yes, <laughs> my face is in fact, hi mom. This is just proof that you can create your own face. You don't have to use something pre-made. But I have all these limited U Roblox faces that I downloaded. I'm gonna put some of them on my towers. Of course, first we're gonna start with a Nico DJ face. So I'm gonna change the name of this file to face. I'm gonna drag it into my textures folder. Now I'm gonna load into the game and I should have the Nico face on my avatar. Yeah, buddy, look at that. <laughs> First tower I'm gonna place down is the Golden Scout. And yes, we have the Nico DJ face on the Golden Scout. Let's put the slasher down and see what it looks like. Yep, slasher got the Nico DJ face. It just looks so happy. Here we can put down the paintballer because I think that one's gonna have a funny face too. Yes, the Nico DJ face on the pink bunny paintballer. That goes perfect with this outfit. It's my Nico DJ army. All right, now I have enough money for the commander. Is the commander gonna have the funny Nico? Nico face. No, the commander does not have the Nico DJ face because it's actually got a specialty face. Nico DJ Pyromancer OP. What face do you guys think I put on? I'll give you three seconds to guess. Three, two, one. LOL. That's right. My favorite face from the April Fool's Day event is the LOL face. <laughs> We're gonna get the LOL army down. We got LOL scouts and LOL paintballer. These guys are happy in a way I could never be. LOL shredder. <laughs> oh, spooky Nico DJ. Ooh, spooky haunted scout. How awesome would it be if the zombie faces changed too? Oh, haunted army is spooky. Oh my gosh. This is too good. <laughs> is this what the cool kids call a fem boy? You guys ever wondered what the golden scout looks like with a beard? Yo, that actually goes pretty good with his outfit. Bearded Nico DJ with the beard army. These are my children. Can't you tell? Oh yeah, this is not disturbing at all. Nothing will survive this gauntlet except for these hidden zombies. But look how manly my mini gunner is. Yes, my little cursed babies. Spread your evil image throughout the world. Everyone will have a winning smile soon, my children. Robot army does not compute. Crazy robot towers 
look crazy. <laughs> look at their eyes. All right, guys, that's going to do it for my video. I hope you learned something new. If you enjoyed it, be sure to smash that like button with your forehead. Hit that subscribe button with your big toe. And turn on notifications so you don't miss any of my amazing upcoming content. And while you're at it, go ahead and join my growing Discord community. You can do that at discord.gg slash just Harrison things. And I will see you guys next time. Take care, be safe, and never forget what I always say. Peace.